Hello, my most amazing artists. Welcome back to Art Class with Christy. Today, we are going to be drawing and painting um, a Peter Cromer inspired koala. Peter Cromer is a really groovy Australian artist um, and he combines some paint, some mixed media to make um, pictures of really cool Australian animals. So today we're going to do this one. Um, I'm going to tell you what you need to get or gather. If you're allowed to paint, we're going to use acrylic paints today. Um, you need paper. You need a pot of water. You need some paintbrushes. Um, I'm going to draw with a black pencil, but you guys can draw with a lead pencil. You will also need to, I'll show you my paints. So I'm already, I've put them on a palette already. So I've got black, white, wool, this pretty mint color and two pinks. That's all the colors that we need today. Somebody's already asked. There's gray up there. I wonder who knows how to make gray. Have a think about it, because we will come back to that. Have a think. Uh, you might need some baby wipes if um, we get a little bit messy. You will also need, you can see on my, my one that I've made before, if I bring it close, you can see these little things. Can you see that nice and close? They are actual pieces of paper that I've painted and we stuck them on. So you can do that in art class. Usually if we've got leftover paints, I will use some of it to make some pretty papers. And then I will cut up some shapes. So I've got these shapes for me to use today. So if you've got colored paper at home, you can totally use colored paper. This one's a heart, I really like this one. Can you see that one? Um, otherwise, you can use normal colored paper. If you have got any scrap paper at home, you can totally use that. You could color some scrap paper with a Sharpie or some crayons, whatever works for you. Um, I'm going to paint mine on paper today. This one's a canvas, but I'm going to use paper. So if you're not allowed to use acrylic paint or it's not the right time to use acrylic paint, on paper, you can use watercolor paint. You could even color it in with textures or Sharpies or crayons. If you've got oil pastels at home, you can use that. You do not have to use paint every single time you join me for art class. Um, but if you're allowed, totally jump in and use paint. I'm gonna pause so you can get I remember that. Um, I'm going to pause so you can go and gather your things and then come straight back. Do you remember how I pause? I'm going to make a heart and then um, you can come back. So pause, unpause, we're away. We're going to have a quick practice draw today. Um, I'm going to just mark out this on my whiteboard really quickly. I can see somebody watching this through the window and I might look a little bit crazy because I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> She's gone now. Okay. <laughs> That's why I kept looking at it. <laughs> anyway, so this is my practice. So you need a practice piece of paper. Grab a practice piece of paper. We're going to draw lots of shapes and then like magic, this beautiful koala is going to appear. All right, first shape is we're going to go all the way over. Take up most of the page. I know I've got to leave some space here. All the way over with a tall rainbow. Do that one. Now, if I go too fast, what will happen? That's right, you can pause me. You can pause me at any time. If we were here in the studio together, you would go, Christy, please, could you slow down? Could you please wait for me? You're going too fast. But at home, we can't do that. So you can actually just go, pause, unpause, and we're all good. You should have this shape in by now. Oh, I just took some of it away. All right. We're going to put some ears in. So these are kind of like floppy clouds. 
Fluffy cloudies. One, two, oh, this is. Can you see that? Not very well. I'm going to change textures. Change the textures. Oh, that's better. One, two, three. And on the other side, I'm going to go one, two, three. Cool. Okay, I'm going to add in my koala's nose. So I'm going to draw over that line with an oval. And I, because I'm using a whiteboard here, I can take that away. If you're at home and you're doing a practice draw, just rub the line out. Or don't rub it out, doesn't matter. We're going to pop our little koala, it's sort of like a chin and a mouth. So it comes out and it's half a circle. And I'm going to take that little bit away too. Cool. This is a really, really easy, fun one. So if you've got a big human that really wants to draw with you and but is like, oh, I don't know if I can draw. Say, like, big human, come and draw the koala with me. It's really easy. Um, we're going to put an eye in, so a nice big eye. This little spot here is a piece of paper. So I've got some paper, 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 paper. This is sort of just like a pretty feature. So I'm going to go, and it's a bit of a big semicircle or a U-shape. It's a U-shape. Then our koala tummy is a different grey. So we need another smaller rainbow shape. Pop that in there. And I'm going to step back here and have a look. It's pretty good. Inside the ears, these are two different ones on here. Today I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do a little cloud inside each ear. This one is actually a piece of paper, but I want to paint that in today. That's all the drawing we need to do. How cool is that? Very cool. You're right. Very cool. So, you need to grab your not practice sheet, your proper one. I couldn't think of what to say. I'm going to switch from my marker to my black pencil. And we're going to do those same steps again. And then we get to paint. So, first shape. Remembering that if you weren't really, really tall and you've only got tiny little ears, you might make that adjustment. So you might make your koala, your rainbow shape here, a little bit shorter. Or if you made a teeny tiny one, you might make it a little bit taller. If you want to, if you were totally happy with your koala that we just practiced, no need to make any adjustments. Okay, I need to stick that paper down so it won't move while I draw, side on. And I'm going to come up with a big rainbow shape. Rainbow shape up, leave some room for the ears, don't forget. Can you see that? I think you can. Yes, you can. Okay, cloud ears. I'm going to push a little bit harder so you can actually see. Maybe I'll bring you a little bit closer. Put my fingers are there. Ooh, closer. There we go. And this side for the cloud is one, two, three. We need to pop our oval nose in. So remember, I go through that, that line. This time I'm not going to rub it out. Because I know I'm going to paint it in, so it's not really worrying me. And then our mouth shape. Mine's a bit littler this time. Our eye. Nice big circle. My circle is not perfect and that is okay. If you would like a perfect circle, find something to trace around. And then I'm going to do my U shape. That's a bit smaller than my last one too, and I'm okay with that as well. And then, so because I've got lots of space here, I'm going to make that tummy a tiny bit taller this time. And that is okay. <gasps> nearly forgot, I nearly said we're done drawing, but we are not done drawing. Who can see what we're missing? Inside the ears. Little cloud shapes inside the ears. Little cloud shapes. That's it. Good job. Pencils down. Oh, I, I think I told you you need paintbrushes if you're painting. I can't remember. Anyway, 
you need a paintbrush. So the very first thing that we're going to do is paint around the outside. So I'm going to grab my pretty mint colour. If I hold it, see, I'm going to use this colour mint. You can use whatever colour around the outside you like. And we're going to, so I'm, I try and run a line around my koala. I'm using like a medium sized brush. It's not a really big brush because I don't have lots of space. And I'm going to fill it in like this, all the way around. Take your time when you're painting all the way around. Run your line around the ears, be really careful because it gets really skinny. So I go from using the flat side of my brush to turning it on its side. And can you see how it's nice and skinny? To get into that little crease of the ear. We're going there a little bit, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to paint the koala in very soon. And I just thought of it, you need to spread your paint out. Spread it out so we don't have any gloopy bits. If you have done one of my lessons before, you know all about gloopy bits. When there's a gloopy bit. Yes, it's when you don't spread the paint out. It takes too long to dry. I'll show you a gloopy bit. I'm gonna come in close. I'm gonna bring this guy over. Can you see? It's like a bubbly bit on the paper. We don't want that, we want to spread it out because it'll take too long to dry. If it's not spread out, it'll take too long to dry and then I lose my patience waiting for it to dry. You might lose your patience too. That's better. So I go flat brush and then I turn it on the side. And you can leave it a flat colour like this, mint colour. This is a really pretty greeny mint colour. Or on this one, you can see that I've got little flicks of white. And I'm actually going to do that in a minute. So spread it all the way down. This might take you a little while to do. And if you're painting along with me, don't rush to keep up with me. Just pause me. So you can get finished spreading out. I'm looking for gloopy bits to make sure they're all spread in, spread out, that's it. Now I'm going to clean my brush because I've got nice clean white here. And I'm just going to dip in the edge of my brush in a little bit of white and just flick some white, not flick it, like flick it, but I'm just going to gently rub some white into that green. Not everywhere, just in a few spaces. So it just makes it a little bit interesting to look at. That's better. I like that now. Okay, cleaning my brush. Now, if you're at home, you might need to wait for that to dry. And that's okay. So you could take a little break. You might like to colour in your practice drawing one. I'm going to mix some dark grey. So to mix some dark grey, I'm going to take my palette. I'm going to hope, hopefully these aren't going to run. And I'm going to take a little bit of black. Actually, I'm going to take a gloop of black. I'll pop it here. I might take two, I think, because I, I want this to be a little bit dark. You see that gloop I've put? I'm cleaning my brush because I want my white to stay nice and white. And I'm going to take one bit of white. And if I gently mix it in a circle, if I mix it all over the palette, I'm going to waste the paint on the palette. But if I gently mix it in that little circle, and make a new puddle, I've got a new color gray. I'm just gonna have a look at that. 
I think I want it a little bit lighter than that. So with a clean brush, I'm not gonna waste this. Ooh, where's my, there it is. I'm not gonna waste this paint by washing it. I'm gonna get a clean brush and I'm gonna grab another bit of white and pop it over there and put this brush, because all that white is off. And I'm gonna mix that again. In the same circle, that's better. I like that one better. So you can mix whatever gray you like. If you want it to be really dark, you use more black. If you don't want it to be so dark, you'll use white. So, I'm gonna paint in my koala body. I'm not gonna paint in this tummy. I'm gonna paint around the outside of those ears. Really carefully. Really, really carefully because I'm trying really hard not to go into the inside of the ears because I want that a light grey. And I'm going to do this here really carefully. You can say in your head, paint it really carefully. Really, really carefully. If I'm being really careful, I do my best work. Really careful. Try really hard not to get any inside those ears. Beautiful. Then I can paint here. Come down, I'm gonna go around the eye, around that pretty cheek. I'm gonna call it a cheek thing. No, we, won't, we don't wanna go in there, really careful. Spreading out our gloopy bits, remember we don't want gloopy bits. We want it to dry nice and quick. Down around the nose, around the mouth. Spread it out. I've got lots, I can feel I've got lots of paint on my brush. So I can spread all of that out. That's quite a dark grey I've done, which is cool. It looks nice with this minty colour, I like it. Spread it out. All the way around. Whoops, I went in that tummy. I'll have to make that a tiny bit smaller. Try and make sure you mix enough grey that you can do that whole body. I've just used all my grey, which is fab. Oh, it's a little bit there. I move back and have a look. Pretty good. All right, now I need to mix some bit lighter gray. So I'm actually going to, I'm not gonna even clean that brush. I'm cleaning the smaller brush and I'm gonna bring some more white to my gray pile. And I'm gonna mix it with this gray brush and that will, I know that I'm gonna get a lighter gray very light actually which is really cool because it will be a nice contrast with this gray so light gray i'm actually going to fill both ears in with light gray this one i've done dark and light but today i'm going to mix it up a little bit and i'm going to need to use my smaller brush i can tell that because i've only got a little area and i'm holding my brush like a pencil just putting it on the tip and then I can fill that in. That's better. Mm, much better. You might like to let your grey dry as well, your dark grey dry as well before you do this bit. If you're really careful though, you can probably do it. 
This koala would look awesome done in crayons as well. If you have crayons, I would love to see a crayon koala. If you do one, you can send it to me. Okay, this little brush, too little to do this big tummy. So I'm going to switch back to my medium brush. I didn't have it in the water, I held on to it because it had lots of paint on it. Spread it out. It's looking pretty cool. Not all of my edge is completely dry, so it sort of tinges that grey a little bit. It's okay. I'm trying to be really careful though because I don't want it to blend too much. the quicker it's going to dry for me. Cool. Tummy is in. Again, if I go too fast, you can pause me. All right, I'm going to actually do this mouth bit in the light gray as well, because I like it today. I like the look of it. So I'm just taking, I'm doing the brush borrow you know when our paintbrush is a friend? Hello, can I buy some paint over here? <laughs> oh, we play that game a little bit now. There we go. Filled in. So we only have to do the nose and the eye and this pink cheek. So I'm going to some more people outside. Um, I'm going to fill in this bit with the pink. So I've got two bits of pink, and I'm going to I'm going to mix this the fluoro pink and the light pink because I really love fluoro. How cool was that? People were taking a thing of them. It says, come paint with me on YouTube on my window. And they said they were going to come paint with me. And they were like, oh, she's making a YouTube video. <laughs> Maybe they might see this and they'll know who they are. Thanks, people. <laughs> so anyway, I've got this really cool pink. It's so pretty. Can you see it? Yeah. So I'm going to go like this. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wobbly. There we go. And that's the cheek. How cool is that? That is so cool. I love that. All right. We're nearly there. I'm, in, I'm just cleaning my brush. So this bit and this bit, uh, I've still got lots of black on here. So these are going to be, it's going to have a black eye here. Careful with that pink because I know it's wet. So if you want, you can let it let it wait and let it dry. If you want to. And then fill in the nose. Cool. That was kind of cool. I don't even smile. I was trying to be cool about it too. You know, you know how cool I am. I know you know how cool I am. <laughs> super, super painting done. Oh, not quite. I just looked at my practice one. I'm oh, not my practice one, the one I've made before. And I've got these white, uh, black dots down here, which I can put down here. This is really dark. So I'm gonna make a creative adjustment. I'm gonna do them in white down here. So I'm gonna get a clean brush but I'm going to turn it upside down, upside down, upside down Miss Jane. And I just dip the end in and I'm going to come down here really carefully. It's just, real koalas don't have these, it's just interesting. So if you look at Peter Crone's koalas, he has lots of interesting little bits on his koalas. That looks, I, I can bring it close so you can have a look. 
Insert. Cool, huh? This is a piece of paper. So I need to let all of this dry before I glue my pieces of paper on. But I really like this, so I'm actually going to use my creative license again. And I'm going to put some dots down here as well because I like it. It's a bit glitty, that one. Just like that. Oh, I'll bring it close because it's a little bit hard for you guys to see. You see? Cool, huh? I like that. You can do that too. Actually, I'm, I'm a bit excited with the dot thing. I just stuck my finger in the white paint. I'm going to do some up around, oh, just that line there. So I'm being careful because my paint is still wet. All the way down. And my dots got littler as I came down because there was less paint on the brush. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to bring it close and then I'm going to let it go. Like, let, I'm not going to do any more dots because that's enough. I'm going to call the painting section done. Now, when it's dry, I can, I'm going to glue, this bit's dry, I can feel it's dry already. So, if you've cut, I've cut some things out. So, I've got this yellow heart and yellow looks nice on here. So, I can go, oh yeah, I like that. Bit of glue on the back of it. We can use glue. And so I've got a glue stick. Should have told you to get one earlier. Sorry about that. I'm gonna glue that one down. And I had a pink heart. Here it is. I found it. I found it. I found it. Found it. Found it. <laughs> I'm going to glue this pink one inside the yellow. Oh, stay still. Inside that yellow one. Want to stay? Yes, it is. I like that. Now, I've got some pieces of um, coloured paper. Mine are pink and orange, so I'm just going to have a little bit of a play with the placement where I might like them to go. And I think I'd like to see them a little bit skinnier. So, I'm just going to cut them down the middle. Like that and see what that looks like. One there and one there. I like that. So I can glue those on. And my, I can tell my koala's dry because it's not shiny in these places where I've decided to glue this paper on. I'm going to leave a gap because I've got another piece of square paper. So I've got a gap here. I've got two pieces of square that's sort of like pink and yellowy. So it looks good with this one. I'm gonna glue them, yeah, like that. I'm gonna glue them and then I'll bring it close so you can see. I really like the colors in this one. It's so cool. Oops, oops, there we go. And I actually need to cut out a little pupil because remember I said that was paper as well. So I'm just gonna cut a little circle out of one of those pink pieces that I had. It's really little. So you might, if you're only a little person, you might need a grown up to help you with that. And I'm going to stick it there really carefully. Sweet! That is a cool koala. I'm going to bring it close so you can have a good look. Let's start there. See the dots? And you can see the eye. And then we're going to, you can see the heart and some more dots. And then my pieces of paper. I might just need to flatten those corners down so they glue down a little bit better. So I can call my koala done but not finished. Do you remember why I can't call it finished? Yes, if you were in my art class, you would be saying to me right now, I have to sign my art, Christy. So I'm gonna quickly grab a black Posca. You can use a Posca or a Sharpie or a permanent marker. I'm just gonna turn my koala on the side 
in my art class. You can sign your art wherever you like. You must sign your art though. To call it finished, you have to sign it. When I sign my name, so when I say you have to sign it, it means that you have to write your name on your artwork somewhere. So when I sign my name, I draw a little love heart. I'm gonna do it and I write Christy. I'm gonna do it down here today because that's how I sign my name and I'll bring it close. You can see my little love heart, Christy, there it is. And now I can call it finished. You may sign your artwork in my art class wherever you are. I know I have had artists sign it in the ears, in the tummy. You, if you write your first, you can write your first name and your last name. You can write your first name. You can use your initials if you want to, but you must sign it because now I can call my koala finished, finished, done, finished, done. Um, so that's our Peter Cromer inspired koala. Now, if you paint or draw this koala, I would love to see a picture of it. So you might ask your big human to send me a picture. Say, please my human, make sure you say please, please my human, can you send Christy a picture? She would really love to see my art because that will make her smile and it totally will make me smile. You must clean up your space also. If you're at home, it's a big deal to paint with me and I would like you to help your big human by cleaning up your space. Once you've done that, then send me the picture and that will make me smile. Um, I thank you for tuning in again. I have loved painting with you today. I will see you again soon. Bye.